Just get this video popping now. I'm not going to waste any time with introductions and shit like that. Um, I didn't want to waste time setting up my camera because, uh, you know, I'd already done camera tests the other day. There was really no point in me. Fuck! Trying to uh, get, you know, shit set up. I really didn't feel like it. Um, you know, because I got to get to bed soon and your boy's tr putting in some work. So obviously he got to get some rest. But that doesn't mean I'm too good for y'all. Obviously, I love y'all. And I'm sorry for not uploading on Friday. That's my fault. No excuse. No excuse. I was being lazy. I was being a prick. Playing on my phone. Wasn't being considerate of y'all. And I'm very sorry about that. So I'm going to make it up to y'all. And I'm going to give a good ass fucking video to y'all today. Um. So what I want to talk about today is uh women. And, um, you know... Uh, a common a common disadvantage when it comes to motivation what's driving you to want to do something and i just want to say that through my personal experience you cannot allow you can't let women be the driving force to what you do or why you do something because what's going to happen is that it just doesn't work because i want to explain like Okay, so like when you let women become the driving force, the main motivation to why you go and do something, it's not going to work. You're going it's going to burn out so fucking quick, right? And it's just going to fail you. Now, when I say women, I mean like I mean like not where like you have a crush on someone or like you're in love, you're kind of like enamored by somebody and like you kind of like ha you're like that on that high with love so like everything you do is just like 20 percent better because you're just obsessed with this person and you know they kind of got you on your shit because now you're just like kind of rolling because the warm fuzzies i guess really uh you know what i'm talking about if you've ever been in a crush if you've ever had a crush or been in love with somebody you like somebody and all of a sudden your testosterone's going life just seems better you're on your toes better than ever i mean you're really on your shit that's what i'm trying to talk about right that that that's okay that's fine that's natural for a human to want to work harder in that circumstance but what i'm trying to talk about what i'm saying is that if you just want women on your dick or you want women running up to you on the spot so you can get coochie whenever you want or you know you just want you just want to uh, do something so women think it's hot they think it's attractive they think it's dope and that's what I'm here to tell you if women are your motivation to doing something you're gonna fail and you're gonna lose like it's not gonna work and I'm gonna explain why number one is that it burns out too quick it, it burns out too quick because once you start doing it, what are you going to expect? Progress. What's going to happen? Nothing. Women are not going to get on your dick that effectively if you're doing it for them. And they're, they're not, they're probably not going to per se know like, oh yeah, he's like, he's only doing this so I can get on him. They're not going to necessarily sense that, but that energy that you're, pro that you're not really doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the sake of others to be attracted to you, that energy is going to come off. You'd be so surprised at how your motives can just vibrate into your actions. Like, trust me, take someone who's motivated to do these YouTube videos because they want to help and then someone who wants to do these YouTube videos just so he can get bitches on his dick. Who do you think is going to succeed more? He, the guy who's doing the YouTube videos for the bitches, bro, he's only, he's going to burn out quick. He's going to see that women don't really care. Some women might be like, oh, he's moving in a direction, but the way he, his videos are going to be and just how he's going to execute is going to be completely fail because all it's going to be is just the all the frequency and energy is just going to vibrate to, can you please just show me attention? So it just seems like a desperation tactic or whatever. You know, it, like I said, they're not going to sense and automatically know like, oh, he's only doing this for me. But it's going to it's gonna transpire into the action. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing is that, so yeah, that's number one. Uh, number two I would say so. Number one, being uh, you're just not gonna get progress. You know, you're you're gonna burn out. It's gonna burn out too quick, and the progress just isn't gonna show up. 
Number two is that it, you're doing it for something else, right? You're doing it for an external force. And again, I kind of just discussed this in number one. And this is kind of a general idea. Never do anything for any fucking body if it doesn't benefit you. Now, I know what you're going to counter me with. Oh, but women, you know, I mean, women do benefit me. No, 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 man. Never do anything just for somebody else. That's what you're doing when you do it for women. Do it for women, you know. Never play, go out for football if you're not fully committed to go out there and fucking be one of the best players out. Don't do it. Don't put yourself on that commitment if you're not willing to run that shit. Don't put yourself on, you know, a workout plan just so you can get women. Because what's going to happen when you start building a good body but women aren't coming? Or let's, you know, you're not going to... You're not going to feel accomplished. You're going to feel like you're failing. And even if they do come, what's going to happen? So one woman comes. Okay. Then the second woman comes. You got to get three. got to get four. All You're going to want more and more woman, women. I noticed them swallows on no fat, dude. Like the attraction. Yes, it happens. Like women be, become a little more. They don't know that you're on no fat, but they can feel an energy change in you. And I've discussed this before. But what's going to happen is that. You're, they're simply, it's not even one of the biggest things. What's going to happen is that they're going to come one by one by one, and you're just going to want more and more and more. But if that's your only reason for doing no fap, you're going to fail hard, like, and not in a good way. Like, you're going to fail bad because you're trying to refrain from sexually discharging for the thing, for, I mean, for the, for the being that's arousing you to discharge does that you do you see what i'm saying i'm trying to refrain from jerking off and women make me want to jerk attractive sexual sexually attractive women make me want to do that but i'm i'm not masturbating so i can get sexually attractive women in my life now i get it some of y'all can counter me with the rewire process that's a different story uh but my point is man is that don't let don't let women be your motivation bro like, look, honestly, there you have you can't do things for other people. Learn to do things because you want them. Don't do things for other people. Don't do th and I, I'm not saying don't do things to help other people. I'm saying don't go commit yourself to something important like a sport or a club or anything that requires a long term commitment. You know, for you, that contains goals and competition and whatever. Something like no fab, something like basketball team and shit. Don't do any of that for the benefit of other people to like you or for women to like you. Don't do it. You're good enough. Fuck you need them for, bro. They don't deserve you. If they don't fuck with you now, fuck them, dude. Like, you don't need to be doing these things so other people can like you. Done. Done. Well, actually, no. Yeah, hold on. So let's recap. One, you're going to lose motivation very fast because you're not going to see progress. Number two, trying to figure out what number two was. Number two, you don't need to be doing it for anybody else. I think it was. That's the point I'm trying to get across, man. You don't need to be doing these things for anybody else. Do no fat because it's going to help you. Do football because it's going to help you. Go join that play because it's fun for you. You. You matter. Not these other people, bro. That's all I got to say.